Meghan Markle's new fashion line is so generic, it'll render you tabloid proof. It feels to me like Meghan is really pulling back, okay? She's made so many gaffes uh, speaking and she's gotten so much criticism. It really feels to me like she's trying to pull back. And, you know, we see this other places. Uh, Mafia Dons, before RICO, before the RICO Act, Racketeering Influence Corrupt Practices, Corrupt Organizations Act, uh, the Mafia Don would just m whisper into someone's ear. And then that person would say what whatever the Mafia Don said. And then no one could attribute crimes to the Mafia Don. Well, then with RICO, they consider all of it together. Another example, so the Mafia Don can then be prosecuted, even though you never hear him speak. You never hear the queen speak, okay? The queen, you never hear the queen utter a word. And it's because everything they say can be criticized. Everything they do can be criticized. And Megan is always talking and she's getting a tremendous amount of criticism. Uh, another example of this is Donald Trump. Donald Trump, he goes the opposite way. He is so in your face. He's always tweeting. He's always outrageous and he's doing this on purpose and he's always attacking. This is because you can be attacked for everything you say. So Donald Trump is the first president really to go the opposite way. Let's look at this. I think she's, I think Megan is really pulling back. The Every Woman Duchess just launched a fashion line for every woman employee. The oft criticized, yeah, you could say that again. The oft criticized Megan Markle debuted a capsule collection for charity on Thursday that is non-controversial enough to nail a job interview while mercifully shielding its wearer and curator from criticism. Amen. In her first post-maternity leave engagement, the Duchess of Sussex debuted the collection at a John Lewis store on Oxford Street in London. Sales of the five-piece smart set capsule collection of women's workwear benefiting Smart Works, a charity she patronizes that helps unemployed women find jobs. Okay, so here's the collection. Very simple. Here's a white shirt. It's a very basic white shirt, very classic. Here's the back. This is designed by Misha Nonu. Here's a black blazer. Okay, and I think they're like $245 for the blazer and pants. They're not cheap. Uh, here's the pants, jigsaw pants. Uh, okay, here's the pants and jacket. Misha Nonu. Here's the here's a black dress, the back, and it's also in blue and it comes in various sizes. Here's a, someone wearing it, okay, and it's made from crepe, so it doesn't need to be ironed. It, it's you know it doesn't have a sash or a belt. You can throw a belt on it, something, break it up a little bit. And here's the uh, the handbag. I think it's two hundred forty five. Pounds. Uh, and this is already sold out. Here it is in black. Okay, and here's some more looks at it. Here's some models wearing these. Here's the, the pants and the jacket. I'm not sure if this is the shirt. I, this must be the shirt she's wearing because she seems to be wearing the same shirt. Pants and the shirt. No pleats on these pants. Here's the simple dress she threw a belt on it. Uh, and that's a good idea. Here's the dress again, no belt, okay, with a model. And here's the pants and shirt. So very... Good day, YouTubers. Time for a spot of royalty. So this is... So my printer is finally printing properly. I did not do anything. It just finally is printing properly. So this is Megan uh, at her launch for the clothing capsule. Uh, and it really feels to me like Megan is pulling back, uh, trying not to be controversial. Uh, Harry was not there with her. They did not do this together. This would have been a great thing. You know, Harry could have been there to support her. She could have gone to his event. He also did an event that day. I believe it was uh, an Invictus event. Uh, she could have gone to support him. They're not going together to... Uh, their events. So let's start with, is Megan pulling back? Because the the clothing was very, 
very generic, and that's a good thing that could be mixed and matched. Okay, but there was no risk taken at all. Uh, and I think like the handbag was very nice and also expensive. And I think that's the gift that they're giving. That's like the piece that they're really proud of and that they want to, you know, give everybody. And it is a one for one trade. There's no funny business going on here. Very, very safe. Very, you know, and they're only doing this for two weeks. Okay, you, you have to go to five different shops to get these items. You can't just go to one shop and get everything. You have to go to five different shops to get each of these items. And then uh, every item you buy, one item will be donated to SmartWorks. So really true charity. So is Megan pulling back? Is she trying to be non-controversial? Uh, because she sure has gotten a lot of criticism. Trying to be non-controversial? I got a yes. These are interesting cards. Snake and blockage. All right. So is Megan trying to be non-controversial cross diamond ring yes so permanent family permanence you've got several sevens we got two sevens and these are good sevens and they return endlessly so the cross and the finger of god okay so committed to the permanent family yeah she's really trying to toe the line here She's really towing the line. Yes, she's really towing the line. Reacting to circumstances. Outside influence. Okay, somebody said something. Megan, you need to tow the line. <laughs> uh, karmic shift. Snake. Another woman. Roadblock. Blocked by another woman. A big change because she's blocked by another woman. Someone intervened. So someone, you know, probably the queen said... You really need to fall in line. All this controversy is not working out for you. So the sevens return endlessly, and this is the permanent family card and marriage. So she's really being a member of the royal family here, reacting to circumstances. She was told to be non-controversial by another woman, and so she made a big change. Interesting. So she is trying to be very, very non-controversial. Now, I had the feeling that Meghan was planning to come out with her own fashion line. She wants to be the Kim Kardashian of the royal family. And along those lines, if Baby Archie was around, she should be dressing Baby Archie up in matching clothes. You know, she's wearing a lime green today, and she goes out, and Baby Archie is dressed in a lime green and with a lime green cap, you know, and they're matching, and everybody thinks it's so cute, and everybody's snapping photos. Archie's not around, so she's not doing that. Uh, so does Megan plan to come out with her own fashion line? Does, is she really, is she laying the groundwork for this? Because that was my feeling. Is Megan laying the groundwork for her own fashion line later? And she's developing a relationship with, you know, a designer, Misha No New. Oh dear, the devil is there. And secrets. So is Megan planning to come out with her own fashion line? Secrets, devil, three black birds, activity talking, very selfish, 10 and 11, 21, six hearts, uh, karmic relationship. She is developing relationships with just what I said. She's developing a relationship, relationships in these world, karmic in this world. She's, she's getting in close. Okay, and here she's doing something very straight, the man. Man is direct. It doesn't, man doesn't have to be a man. Man can be just direct action. Direct. This is an honest man. King of Hearts is an honest man. So just direct action. She played it as straight as you can possibly play it. She towed the line 100% with this rollout of the clothing capsule. Okay, but 
there's a devil right in the middle. And the devil will lie, the devil will cheat, the devil will steal, the devil will do anything. So secretly, she's, she is laying the groundwork. Secretly, secretly and very selfishly, she is laying the groundwork. Her true motivation here, interesting the cards want to be so harsh, her true motivation is not charity at all. Here she's towing the line, but her true motivation is she absolutely wants to you know, have her own brand and design her own line of clothing. And, and she's laying the groundwork for that. That is what she's doing. This is not really charity for her, interestingly. What is the public opinion of this fashion line? I think it should be really good. They did a one-for-one. One. Okay, it's one-for-one. One. A lot of the items sold out the bag that I really like the bag. Um, and I think that's a really like a centerpiece, like... You know, you go into people's houses and they have one wall that is like a, a beautiful red, you know, <laughs> or something. You know, it's like a set piece. I think that set piece is the bag. Okay, and the bag is sold out, so uh, Smartworks is going to get a whole lot of those bags and probably a whole lot of the white shirts. So what is the public opinion of, of this fashion line rollout? What is the public opinion of this? I think she's going to get some good props for this. Public opinion. All right. Very solid. Uh, very solid business. Very solid charity, uh, healing, and sevens return endlessly, nine and four, 13, four hearts, treating people with loves, home and family, two very solid, two fours, four diamonds, four hearts, very solid, very nice. The public loves it. This is exactly the kind of thing that the Royals do. It's a one for one. Uh, it definitely, the way it was rolled out finally, and I think they're very flexible. I think she has clearly some other ideas that she was planning to do, but she decided not to. Big change occurred because of another woman said, you're not going to do any of that. And that other woman is probably the queen. The queen blocked all of her ulterior motives and intentions. She had all kinds of ulterior motives. So what was rolled out, the public just loves it. It's great. It's very solid foundation. They really like it. What's hiding here? Incubus Succubus is some selfishness. Yeah, so we have Magi and Incubus Succubus. So that's 13 and 6, 19, 5 clubs. She has other things that she was trying to manifest. She's, she's, she wants to make her own uh, fashion line. That's really what she's doing. She wants to make, but all of that is hidden. All of her ulterior motives are hidden and not displayed at all. Okay, but she did six hearts. She did, you know, rub elbows with Misha Nonu. She got, you know, she interfaced and talked with all these people, Marks and Spencer, and all these different clothing lines that will, you know, pay off later. That fell out. Why didn't Harry show up to support her? Okay, this is a great opportunity for Harry and Meghan to show up together. It's right there in Britain. It's a big deal for her. She's been doing this for a long time. And for that matter, you know, Harry was, I think he was doing something with Invictus. He could have showed up for her and then they could have gone together and she could have, you know, been there for him. So why not? Why, why, didn't, why didn't Harry show up for her? And the King of Spades wanted to fall out. So there it is. Why didn't Harry want to show up with her? Interesting. Okay, because we, we, you know, this is what the public wants to see. The public wants to see a loving relationship between Meghan and Harry. And this is why Meghan is getting so much flack. Because the public is not seeing a good and loving relationship with her and Harry. And they're also not seeing a good and loving relationship with, with Harry and his brother and Kate. Uh, and they're just, there's been a lot of disruption in the family since Megan has showed up. And, and 
the ladies, they, they're much more environmental than the men. Okay, men are much more about direct action and getting things done. Women are much more about the environment. And so if the environment goes crazy, Meghan Markle enters the environment and the environment goes crazy, everybody naturally blames Meghan Markle because that's actually what's going on. Okay, and that's why she's being so criticized because the environment has gone haywire since she showed up, okay, in the royal family. And Harry's life has gone crazy. And... Okay, so why is Harry not there supporting her? Uh, and why did she go and support him on his thing that day? So we have tens here. We've got a message. We've got uh, <clears throat> opportunistic action. We have a long trip and same thing every day. Fifteen, four clubs, four-leaf clover. So... The message, uh, the message is the same every day, opportunistically. Uh, this is just, okay, what these three cards on the face, on the face of it, it says, it, this is just what we do every day. This is the daily work. And Harry did not feel that this was special, that the rollout of the smart works was special. So this is just the work that they do you know, 10 clubs. This is just the work. This is what the work is. You go and show up and you, you open something like SmartWorks. What's hiding here? We have the King of Spades and we have the Inheritance, Executioner and Inheritance, and that's 23, six clubs. Ooh, six clubs, uh, Olive Tree. So, Trouble in Paradise. This can be a lawyer. This can also be, you know... A, a unilateral decision uh, in in the okay. This leads me to my next question. So this is either a lawyer in uh, because there's serious problems in the in, between Meghan and Harry in their relationship, or this can be uh, are there going to they just simply a unilateral decision? They've simply made a decision that they're just not going to make joint appearances. Uh, until Africa. And Africa, I believe the date is September 21st, which is like, it's next week, man. I mean, they can't, they can't ship them off to Af Africa fast enough. Okay, so is, has a decision been made that Meghan and Harry will not be making any joint appearances until Africa? Okay, because the only time, the last time we saw them together was Lion King. And before that, we saw them together uh, at the polo match where she was wearing an enormous tent dress and carrying fake baby Archie. And that's when all the trouble started. And since then, we've seen Ibiza and Nice. And I don't believe that was them. I don't even believe that was them. I believe those were doubles. Okay, so is there some decision that there's going to be no joint appearances before with Meghan and Harry before Africa, which is just next week. No joint appearances until before Africa. All right, let's see what we got here. We have Cornucopia, home. Home is the family, Megan, Harry, Archie, and those closest to them. Cut. Oh, straight razors upside down. I don't shuffle my cards so they appear upside down. So cutting, but it's, they're, they're cut, but they're still together. It's upside down. Uh, they're just, this, <laughs> how interesting. This is saying uh, in everything in the family, they're not together, but they are together. And that's, Mercury is electronic communication and talking. And, you know, here she's presenting, nine diamonds. She's presenting to the public, nine diamonds. So five and eight, five and eight, 13, four hearts again. Okay, so they're together, but they're not. So they're showing everybody together, but they're not together. That's a very interesting answer. So they're... They're making everyone in the public believe that they're together, but they're not together. Okay, they're not together. So, again, Harry and Meghan are not together. Hmm. 
So what is this saying? Why didn't Harry... Uh, okay, because there's terrible strife in the family. Okay, the, 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 the inheritance is cut. They may be separating and divorcing at this point. It's really quite dire with the executioner here. And this could be a lawyer. This can be a lawyer. All right, let's, let's see what we've got here. Let's go back over and see what we've got. So is Megan trying to be not controversial? Because this is the, mo the least controversial thing I think I've ever seen Megan do. And that's significant because Megan is so controversial. She's always telling you what she thinks. She's always speaking her truth. And boy, does she get in trouble for it. Okay, so is she trying to be not controversial? Absolutely. She really towed the line. She really towed the line. And this was ordered by the queen. The queen's like, you're going to tow the line. You're not going to play any funny business and you're not going to say anything that's going to embarrass us. Big change, you know, imposed by another woman and she and the queen, another woman, blocked any ulterior anything. You're going to play it 100% straight, Megan. And Megan played it 100% straight. It's a one-for-one -one trade. Uh, everything is just straight down the line. And she did. And I'm not, I've not heard any crazy things coming out of her mouth. Like, we love abortion. You know, uh, you're secretly, you know, you're secretly racist or anything like that. None of that. We've not heard any of that in association with this, really straight. Okay, so the queen said, you're gonna play it really straight, and she did it, and Meghan reacted to it, and so that's maybe good. Okay, does Meghan plan to open her own fashion line? Absolutely, that is really what she's doing here. She's creating relationships in the fashion community. She's rolling out this little fashion line with and, and she didn't screw it up. She did good. A lot of the items sold out very, very, very safe. You can't be any safer. Good. Okay. She did, she did a good job with the fashion. Okay. There was no mistakes on the fashion and there was no mistakes on the charity part. Okay. But her real motivation, she has some really, her real motivations are absolutely to open her own fashion line. That is what she's doing. She's not really doing charity or benefiting people. That's not what she's there for. You know, that devil speaks very loudly. What is public opinion of this? Very good. Okay, they really like it. Very solid. We got a couple of fours here. Very nice. It did exactly what it says. It was played very straight. But underneath, we have the Magi manif selfishly manifesting her will. Okay, with paired or aspected with the six club spades, this is selfish. This magi is very selfish. Okay, kind of, kind of devilish. De well, we know it's devilish because devil is right here in the center. And the center card is very important in these kinds of spreads. So she's, she's very selfishly, you know, laying the groundwork for her future. That's what she's really doing. Why is Harry not here to support? Well, officially... This is just something we do every day, okay? Megan can handle it. We want Megan to have all the glory. But these, these are all clubs, very mundane. And 10 spades, 10 clubs is very mundane. This is what we get up and do every day. This is the work card. So on the surface, it's very mundane. But in the hidden situation, the relationship is really broken. And that's why they're not showing up together. And maybe there's a lawyer involved. The relationship is absolutely broken between them. I think they've been living apart. Megan, uh, it appears, may have been living in the U.S. for several months. Okay, and that's why they put out the false press of Nice and Ibiza. Okay, that they're a happy family and they're together. And that's why they didn't go to Balmoral because Megan is in, is in the United States. That's why Megan didn't support Harry uh, for Diana's death anniversary. Oh, my God, you can't not do that. Okay, but she's not even in the country. That's why. That's the only possible reason. Megan is Megan. They are. They were living apart for some time. Okay. Uh, is it decided that there are no joint appearances before Africa, which is coming up like the twenty first, September twenty first, I think, and that's next week. Well, everything in the family is just split. They're split. They're cut. Okay, and they're showing you that they're together. They're showing you, showing you Ibiza and Nice, the fake trips, but they're not together. And straight razors upside down. So they're, they're together in your face, 
officially, but they're not together. And that's what that upside down straight razor is showing. Very interesting reading. Very interesting reading. Very enlightening. That's your royalty today. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Uh, find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Uh, if you like the video, please like it. Please subscribe. Click the bell. Share and comment.